Hey there guys, so it's Tina and I am back and this is a part two video. It's part two to my brush D stash. I'm not calling it a declutter because it's not clutter. It was fine. It was organized. It was fine. It was, listen, I stored them away but I needed to get them out of my stash because I was just hoarding them and I was not using those brushes anymore. Like I have my brushes that I stick to. So it was just time to get rid of some of these brushes from my collection. Now I went through this whole introduction in the part one of the video, which I will link over here. So you can hear me call myself a hypocrite, which I kind of am. You can hear my excuses all the way over here. <laughs> check it out. But there's a part one to this video, linked it, so you can check that out. This is part two. As I mentioned, we are going through the remainder of my brushes. So I went through some drawers that I had on the side, and I also went through my current brush collection that I have on my desk, because there are brushes here that I don't use and I, I'm not really gonna ever use again. So I decided to go ahead and declutter every single brush in my collection. So if you want to see this video then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon all right guys so as you heard I decided to go ahead and declutter even more of my brushes so I'm gonna go through this brush drawer right here don't ask me any questions as to why I have all these brushes but I love brushes so much so I have tons and tons of them so I have this drawer and I also have two of these brush containers. These are actually behind my acrylic storage that you see behind me all the time. So we're gonna go through all of these and figure out what we need to get rid of. Let's start with the drawer here. So, all right, I have the Cosette brush that I'm definitely keeping. This IT Cosmetics brush, oh my God, I loved this brush so much, so. Um, I'm gonna think about that. Then we have some of these Urban Decay brushes. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not using them. So I think, all right, let's move these over. I can get rid of these. Can get rid of this one. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. This is a Wayne Goss brush. I actually do like this brush. Let's hold on to that. Morphe we can get rid of. This little brush from Sephora, uh, yeah, we can get rid of that one too. Let's move through these. The MAC brushes I'm definitely keeping, so I'm just going to put my MAC brushes on this side here. Like I said, I'm not getting rid of any of my MAC brushes because they, this is history. This is history. They're being kept no matter what. So those are definitely not up for consideration at all. Is this a matte brush? Yeah. All right, so let's see what we're down to here. This is a matte brush too. This is one from Chanel. I loved this brush so much. I'm gonna keep this one for sure. I can probably get rid of the Hakuhodo one then since I am keeping that one from Chanel. This Kevin Aquan one, I'm gonna keep as well. I need to wash this. Ooh, wash, wash. Um, let's see here. Kevin Aquan also keeping, I'm keeping all my Kevin Aquan ones for sure. These Chikuhodo brushes and Hakuhodo brushes. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Chikuhodo, I feel like I have to keep the Chikuhodo brushes. I, there's no way I can get rid of these. So I'm gonna keep the Chikuhodo. The Anastasia one. I feel like I should keep it too. I'm gonna keep that. This one from Hakuhodo, I can get rid of that one. This one is from Hakuhodo too, but it's my only one that is in this style. It's a S110. I am going to keep this one. This one, again, from IT Cosmetics. Do we wanna keep this one? Or do I want to get rid of it? It has the stickier handle with that soft touch. So it's getting a little sticky, but I loved it so much. Oh God. Um, um, let's think about this one. I'm going to think about that one. All right. So done. We're getting rid of these and we're keeping these on the side for now. I'm going to keep those on the side. The Mac brushes are definitely staying, but I have to wash a couple. So I'm going to put these to the side and take out the ones I have to wash. All right. So we got started pretty decently. Let's get one of these here. All right. So let's go through these. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh my God. 
This It Cosmetics one is nice too. Ooh, oh my god. All right, so do we want to keep the Velvet Lux or this one? I'm going to get rid of that one and hang on to this one. This Marc Jacobs one we're definitely keeping. The Sephora one, it's nice, but I, I can do without it. This Wet n Wild one, I feel like I can always get rid of the Wet n Wild ones. It's just so easy to get rid of cheaper brushes. I know, Morphe and Wet n Wild, yeah, so easy to get rid of them, right? I'm going to keep my Sonia G one. This Sephora one, huh. I don't care about it either. I can get rid of that. This is a MAC one. That's going into my MAC pile. Mm -mm. This Zoeva one, I actually really like this Zoeva brush. So let's keep that. This one, ColourPop, I can get rid of this Duo Fiber one. Definitely not getting rid of a Tom Ford brush. What? Who are you talking to? No, ma'am. I can get rid of this Hourglass one though. Remember this that they released with their um, foundation? No, I can get rid of that. I'm keeping the Smashbox ones. I'm going to wash that one. Let's see what else? What else can I, am I definitely keeping? Keeping my Fenty. I'm going to wash that because it's Fenty. Keeping the Smith Cosmetics ones because again, I wanted to do a review on them. But do I care that? Yeah, I'm going to keep them just in case. I'm going to keep my Wayne Gosh ones. Wayne Gosh. Wayne Gosh ones as well. This one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I need to do a review on this. This is the worst brush they could ever really. It's so awful. It is so bad. It's so scratchy. It's the A23 brush. It was meant to be used with their highlighters. It's so bad, guys. This one is from NARS. Not getting rid of that. This one is one of the T5s from that um, Chikohodo collection again. And it has my name on it. So definitely not get rid of that. But I need to wash it. So here are my wash brushes. This one is also from NARS, not getting rid of that. This one from Cover FX, I can get rid of. These two from Smith Cosmetics, I can get rid of one of them. These are so scratchy. Why am I keeping these ones? Because I want to do a review. So keep one and get rid of one because they're so scratchy and awful. I don't know what the hell is so... Smith Cosmetics, what is this? I love their handles. I love some of their eye brushes, like the shapes. But their face brushes, they are so damn scratchy and so expensive. Like, Samantha Raffendahl, what is this? She encouraged me. She spoke so highly of them. I was like, oh my god, I have to get them. And then when I got them, I'm like, what the fuck? They are so scratchy, bitch. I'm going to keep it anyway. Um, my Remember I told you I got these, if you watched the, the last video, that is. I'd gotten the brush sets from Sonia Kashuk with this style handle because of these specific brushes. So of course I'm keeping these brushes. And then I have one more of my Tarte brushes, my Powder Player brush. That's the name of it. I forgot it in the last video. I'm going to keep this one. This is the, a newer one. So I'm going to hang on to this one for now. For now. I, yeah, for now. Now let's grab the other container. Now these are mainly eye brushes, so I think I can just go through these pretty quickly, sort through some of them, and then we'll I'll come back and tell you what I'm doing. I can get rid of the ColourPop ones. I like them, but I don't love them. So somebody can get really good use out of these, so I'm gonna get rid of those. So here are some more ColourPop ones. We can get rid of those. All right. So so I've gone through and I picked out some Sony Kashuk brushes, some of like this Urban Decay one can go. This is a Zoeva one, a ColourPop Sigma eyeliner, this other small eyeliner brush from Sigma, um, Morphe brushes. This is one of my old, old um, Sony Kashuk crease brushes that can go. The Eddie Funkhauser brushes and another Wet n Wild, some Morphe. So these can all go. All right, so here we have some more brushes. So we have two eyeshader brushes from Sony Kashuk. I love these, but I have so many and I'm not using the, am I? No, I'm not using those. Two more of the Urban Decay brushes. I like them, but I don't love them. And then a couple more Zoeva brushes. Even though I love these Zoeva brushes, I feel like I have better blending brushes that I'm holding on to, so I can get rid of these. 
All right, so here are some of my MAC brushes I'm keeping. So we have the 242, we have some 219, 239. We're keeping these babies, so hanging on to these over here. Here are some that I can get rid of. So a couple more Eddie Funkhauser ones that are scratchy. I have this one from Tarte that, you know what? I actually like it, the shape of it for concealer. And I have my Bare Minerals one that I loved for so long too for concealer. I'm gonna keep those. And then I have two Hakuhodo brushes that are just too small for how I apply my eyeshadow now so I can get rid of those. I have two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills A25. Keeping for review, but I can get rid of one of them. I think, yeah, I have three. Why do I have three? These are so bad. Anastasia, what was this? This was such trash, I swear to God. I have two from Kat Von D. These are the little um, crease brushes, like little blending brushes. Um, I can, you know what, I'm gonna get rid, no, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna hold on to these. Another Anastasia one I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my Smith Cosmetics ones as well. So these are blending brushes. I like these. These are decent. And then they have these little tiny liner brushes. These are the 203 brushes. Oh my God, they're so, like, look how tiny that is. Isn't that sweet? I love that. So I'm gonna keep those Smith Cosmetics ones. I'm gonna keep, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep my buffer brush from, um, who is this? Real Techniques, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep these two blending brushes from Smashbox. I love the Smashbox brushes. I love the shape, more Smith Cosmetics. Decent shapes, like this one I don't care about, but you know, I'm keeping them anyway. Don't ask me things, I don't have answers for a lot of these questions, okay? I'm keeping these again from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna do a roundup. Do they still have these, hold up. Maybe they don't even carry the brushes anymore and I can get rid of them. Hold on, hold the phone. No, they still have the brushes so I can roast the hell out of them. So I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna keep my matte brushes as well. Oh, I have a Tom Ford brush, keeping that. Smith Cosmetics, more Smith Cosmetics. My 4SS from Inglot. Eddie Funkhauser, this is actually one of the soft ones that I had picked up from before, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna also keep my Hakuhodo blending brushes that I absolutely love. So we have those, and then my Rite Aid eyeshader brushes, love those. More Hakuhodo brushes. This little fan brush, this is like a mascara fan brush from Steel. I'm gonna keep that, and I'm also gonna keep this silicone tool that you can use for applying glitter. I'm gonna keep that, and then my Cosette little small blender brush. So I'm gonna keep, yeah, I'm gonna keep these brushes here. So this time around, I didn't get rid of as many brushes as I did before. I got rid of more than I kept before, but this time I don't think, yeah, I don't, I didn't get rid of as many just because I have a lot of brushes that I'm keeping for review purposes. A lot of the Smith Cosmetics ones I'll do a review on and then weed those out and then I'll also do the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills ones and weed those out. So all right, let's count how many we are getting rid of. So we have 52 brushes here that I'm getting rid of. That's a lot, 52 is still a lot. And then what I'm keeping, let's count those. And we have 80 brushes here that I am keeping overall. These of course include some of the brushes that I would get rid of normally, like the Smith Cosmetics ones, but you know, it is what it is. And then I have these from MAC that I'm also keeping. And these are 24 brushes. So I am keeping 104 brushes. These are for collector's purposes and not getting rid of these at all. Then I have a few for review purposes so I don't feel as bad. But I'm getting rid of 50 something brushes so I don't feel too bad about that. So 
yeah all right guys so as i mentioned these are my everyday brushes some of them are freshly washed so they're drying i want to go through these as well to see the ones that i can get rid of and just get rid of them i'm in the mood to do it so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it so we can start out with the ones that are dry and I don't think I'm getting rid of any of these these are some of my eye brushes my blending brushes and a couple of like face brushes and I have a couple of brushes from refer which I'm hanging on to for a review video so I'm gonna put those to the side here are my foundation and bigger face brushes that are also drying over here on the side and there are none that I am thinking about getting rid of here so I think we're all set with these brushes but I do have some in my containers uh oh that I want to go through okay I accidentally spilled all my balls but that's fine <laughs> I have my little balls in here I got these from Michaels I believe and I just use them in here to hold the brushes in place. But anyway, let's go through these brushes. I also want to take some out that I need to wash as well. So Wayne Goss, we have a refer brush. Okay, definitely not getting rid of my Sonia G brush. This one is a Tom Ford brush. I think that needs to be washed. This is a Kaleidos brush. I think I can get rid of the Kaleidos brushes. I am not like completely in love with them. They're not bad brushes. I just don't need them. My um, Envision brushes, I'm definitely keeping. They're now Alori, so I'm definitely keeping those. I got the new Alori brushes, so I'm gonna keep these as well. I'm gonna have to wash this guy. So, wash, wash. This is a Scott Barnes fan brush. I love the shape of this. Gonna wash that, keeping that. I'm gonna wash my Smashbox blush brush. Love that as well. I also have this new Sephora brush which is one of their small brushes that was on sale. I got it. I'm keeping that. I have like my beauty blender brush. I'm going to keep that. This one is from Japanesque. I can get rid of that guy. And then, yeah, I think we're pretty set on everything else here. So we can put these back. Then here we have another set. Let's go through these. Definitely keeping my eyeshader brushes. These are clean, but they're stained. I have this other little fan brush from Scott Barnes that I really love. This one from Makeup Shack is really scratchy, so I'm going to actually get rid of that. That's a bad brush. More of my everyday brushes that I use all the time. I can get rid of this one from Kaleidos. These are my Beauty Blender brushes, which are really good, actually, and I really like them. This one's stained, too. This is a Hakuhodo brush my hmm this is from Sonia Kashuk it's a new blending brush that I wanted to try out I don't love it that much so I think I think I can get rid of that one the makeup shack one is going in the trash um all these are good 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 this is another Sonia Kashuk brush this one is an angled one I'm gonna keep that but I'm gonna get rid of this buffin concealer brush also from Sony Kashuk because I don't like that one either. Okay, we're good here. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, angled brush from uh, Juvia's Place. I can get rid of that. I'm not going to use that. I do like this one from Kaleido, so I'm going to keep that one. I can get rid of the other ones. I need to wash that. I can keep this one. Definitely keeping these from Alori, and then I have my shader brushes and a buffing brush from um, who is this? Delium Tools. I am going to wash this brush here from Juvia's Place. I do like that brush. Also, this one is from Juvia's Place. Um, it's not my favorite brush. I'm gonna wash it and get rid of it. So I prefer like this type of brush and it's also from Juvia's Place. So I'll wash that one instead. Beauty Blender, keeping it. These brushes from Sigma are my swatching brushes. So I'm gonna keep them for sure. Getting rid of the Makeup Shack brush. I'm keeping this face brush from um, Juvia's Place as well. This is also a swatching brush. I do like these little brushes from Sonia Kashuk and from Sephora. So we're gonna keep 
yeah we're gonna keep all of these none of them are ones that i'll get rid of i have some of the ones from smith cosmetics too again keeping those for review purposes so i think we're doing pretty well here not too many brushes that i'm getting rid of obviously because these are my everyday brushes but i thought i'll just include this because i can get rid of a couple of these as well have to wash that one from Alori. I love this one. This is from La Mer. Not getting rid of you. Gonna wash this one from Alori again. This It Cosmetics one, I can get rid of this one too, but I'm gonna wash it. So these two I'm gonna get rid of, but I'm gonna wash them. This one is from Marc Jacobs. Similar to the La Mer brush. I love both of them. You know what? I need to wash both of them actually. So I'll wash them. I got these Alori brushes I'm gonna wash as well this kaleidos one i can get rid of this one is from refer i'm keeping that this one from it cosmetics i can get rid of this is one of their skincare infused brushes like what but what, what no get rid of that refer we're keeping because we want to test this one from ColourPop. Mm, it's a blending brush that mm, should i keep it um you know what i'm just gonna keep it for now because i do like it more refer brushes i think i can also get rid of this juvia's place angled contour brush or should i keep it i haven't kept an angled contour brush i'll wash it and keep it and then these are oh i did really well i am very proud of myself because i can narrow this down now to just a couple of these cups that i keep on my desk because i have them like boom so i have these and yeah i think that's it i think we're pretty good here again i'm getting rid of these not too many at all i'm keeping the rest and i'm throwing these out so i didn't get rid of too many this time around if these are my everyday brushes then obviously they're going to be more used than anything else so i'm getting rid of these and i'm keeping the rest and i'm going to do some washing so huh, all in all i think that's still a pretty decent amount of brushes to get rid of all right guys so as you saw we got rid of a lot a lot of brushes and the final tally who we got oh my god i think this is well over 120 maybe 150 brushes that i got rid of all together oh we did a lot here guys and these brushes are not brushes that i'm going to miss I am not using them. They were set aside. They were just sitting there for some of them for years not being used. So I thought this was the best time to just go ahead and go through my collection and get rid of some of these brushes. Now I already shared in part one the brushes I got rid of and I shared also here in part two the brushes that I got rid of. But as you know, I mentioned that when people do declutter, sometimes they regret some of the items or they think about it a little bit more and they're like, you know what, I actually want to keep those items. So what I recommend, if you do a declutter for any reason, it's your personal reason, if you do that, just store the products aside for a couple of days and like really think over it and if there are any items that you're second guessing go ahead and pull them out like don't use this as an excuse to put all of them back in your collection but like if you're second guessing or rethinking it put them back in your collection and then save it for another day to go through them so with that being said yes i got rid of tons of brushes but i also realized that some of these brushes i wanted to keep so i actually reclaimed some of these brushes from the declutter pile and i'll go through the ones that i grabbed these are suku brushes i was never getting rid of these these i just put in the container but i'll just go through the ones that i decided to keep and why so the first one i was going to get rid of is this delium tools 988 bdhd phase one brush because i was like i'm not really going to use this and i have the smaller one where'd i put it here it is it's the 968 bdhd phase two so it's the smaller version of this one and i was like i'm going to use the smaller one but i won't necessarily use the large one and I also have the Marc Jacobs the face 2 brush which is a similar shape it's like the medium sized one right why do I need all three and then I'm like you know what no I actually did like this brush for either blush or powder so I said you know grab it keep it you're keeping it you're gonna use it so I grabbed that one I also grabbed back the Jacqueline and Morphe this one is called the JH03 brush this is the foundation brush 
because same thing I can use it for foundation I I love these types of brushes for foundation this one is a looser one so it will be great for like um, tinted moisturizers it can be used for lightweight foundations really liquidy foundations or it can be used for heavier cream foundations because it's so airy and it's a nice brush so I'm gonna keep it keeping that one I also pulled out the Juvia's Place liquid foundation brush. This is the J227 brush. I don't use foundation brushes like this, like a paddle style, but this one is a thicker one and it's a lot more fluffy. It's not really stiff or anything. And I found that I do like these kinds of brushes for blush, cream blush or powder brush because it's a foundation brush so it's stiffer. It can push the product into my skin. So I'm keeping this one. I'm also keeping one of the Sephora brushes. This one is the Featherweight Complexion Brush, number 90. I like it and I can use it for blush again because I realized that I didn't keep a lot of blush brushes, but I did keep a lot, but you know what I'm saying? And I can use these for different things. So I'm keeping those face brushes. I grabbed them from the collection and then I went into some eye brushes that I wanted to keep. So I went back and grabbed the Sonia Kashuk eyeshader brushes. I like these brushes. I don't know why I was getting rid of them when I really do like them. And they pack on color really well and I can use them for swatches as well. Like you always can use a shader brush. So I grabbed those two back. I also grabbed the one from Eddie Funkhauser because this one is the softer one from his collection that I liked. So I picked that one up, another eyeshader brush. I also have two, yeah, I had four of the Sonia Kashuk ones, so I kept all four because again, I can use them for swatches, which they come in really handy for. I went ahead and grabbed out the Urban Decay eyeshader brushes. These are the large blending E202 brushes. I do like these and I like large shader brushes for just an all over wash. So why am I getting rid of these? Grab those out of the lineup. And I also grabbed the one from Real Techniques that I got rid of, another large shader brush. I'm gonna use that as well. Two more or three more blending brushes that I grabbed from the Urban Decay ones that I was getting rid of. I like these brushes. This is the Smoky Crease, two of the Smoky Crease, and then I have a Tapered Blending. These are perfect. The Tapered Blending is actually really small and pointed, so I can get in there for detailed work. Why am I getting rid of this? Don't know. And then the blending brushes are actually really nice blending brushes. And I was thinking about it, I'm like, why am I getting rid of all my Urban Decay brushes? I really do like them. So I grabbed those back as well as the Delium Tools blending brushes. These are the Golden Triangle 785 Tapered Blending. Same thing, I can't go wrong with a blending brush. And these are really soft and they work really well, so why not? Another one of them from Delium Tools is the 776 blending brush. I really like this brush and it's a small size and it gets in the crease so why am I getting rid of that? My Chikohodo blending brush, this is the GSN 10. I was editing, okay so how I did this, I filmed this before I did the intro and the outro and I was editing and I was like why did you get rid of the Chikohodo brush? Excuse me? So I was like nope you gotta go get this. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed the blending, like the dome shaped blending brushes, one from um, Sonia Kashuk. I really wanna hold on to this because this is so old school. It gives me so many memories. I have the newer versions, but like, why would you get rid of like a nostalgic piece like this? So I'm keeping my guy here. And then this little one, that I don't know where the hell I got it from. It's still such a great little dome shape, shape br dome, bleh, ah, ooh, dome shape brush that I was like, you better pick that back up, guys. So I took that guy back. I have my Sonia Kasha crease brush. Why am I getting rid of it? Because I love it. I have um, the eyeshader brush from Sonia Kasha. Again, I love it, so why am I getting rid of it? And I have this smoky shader brush, which is like a 239 from MAC, but this one is from Zoeva. I'm keeping this one as well. And then I have this NARS one, again, for nostalgia reasons and because I do love these larger shader brushes. Wash of color, easy peasy, and it's soft and it works. Why am I getting rid of it? Keeping it. And then the last one that I grab is one of the ColourPop ones. This is a small tapered brush. It's brush, it's the E9. Small blending brush, crease works, detail work. Perfect for that kind of thing, which is why I got it in the first place. So 
these are the brushes that I went back into the container and got back to put back into my collection so people will do these things from time to time and I wanted to share my thought process on why I picked them up and not just because oh they're, they're there so just get them so here are all the brushes again that I'm getting rid of which is still quite a lot and I need to figure out how I'm getting rid of these I thought about doing like a sale on them but I wouldn't sell them for like the full price like I would have like a two dollar three dollar five dollar tier maybe a seven dollar one for like the more expensive brushes so you guys can get your hands on them if you're interested because I think brushes go a long way so if you guys think that's a good idea to do like a blog sale because I just put them on my blog and then you guys can go through and pick the brushes that you would want me to send to you know that's something that I'm thinking about but anyway we're gonna go ahead and go now I'm gonna leave links to my Instagram Twitter and smash smash box <laughs> what? wow things are not going well here so Instagram Twitter and snapchat where you can follow me along on and until my next wow I am really hungry guys I'm gonna eat now so until my next video which will be very soon I love you guys bye